guys welcome back to our channel yo so today we have a different type of video for you guys as you guys could see with the background uh this is new year's eve 2019 homie and chava's gonna be making our new 2019 <laughs> <laughs> chava's gonna be making our new year's eve dinner it's already nine o'clock so he needs to hurry it up Hell yeah but um let's oh, okay. show you how to do this Esta cena que Chava nos va a hacer yes. para el año nuevo. Entonces, if you guys would like to learn how to make this recipe, then keep on watching. Uh, yeah, this is very popular, by the way. And um, I don't know if they have it any other state other than California, but over here in LA, around the area, it's very, very popular. Well, let's say it's boiling crab. Boiling, yeah. So boiling crab is one of our favorite, favorite restaurants. Yeah, hell yeah. And we feel like any other like um, little restaurant that copies boiling crab doesn't taste at all the same yeah, but they, this recipe that chava came up with yeah. which he got on youtube from different types of videos he made it himself so yeah, yeah. este él hizo su receta de muchos videos de youtube y la hizo él solo hasta que supiera igual que boiling crab yeah, y yeah. sabe esta receta igualita igualito o si no mejor si sí. bueno. so aquí tenemos nuestro camarón chava agarró muchísimas libras como siempre agarra mucha comida para los dos nomás so. pues nomás agarra un poquito agarra nomás 18 libras <laughs> Yeah, so I got 8 libras, but we're going to use 4 pounds Alright, cool. So we're going to use 4 pounds of shrimp. These are jumbo shrimp. Huge, by the way. Look at this. They're okay. huge. And we get them without the head. Yeah, you could get them with the head, without the head. I mean... We're going to get the camarones like these that are crudos. We're going to get them cooked or cooked in the bag. Yeah, no. We're going to get them to the market. <laughs> yeah, we went to our, um, a seafood market that's around like... Um, we got there it's there in their window I think or Golden yeah. Park, no? Golden Park. Something yeah. like that. Well, I just went right now and they were literally closing and, and I started knocking on the window like please let me get some more, you know? <laughs> and yeah, so we're gonna well, use four pounds of that. This is gonna be like the the whole mix right here. We have the Cajun spice, which is a Cajun seasoning, we have lemon pepper, we have old bay. Boom, old bay. We have some cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. And we have some paprika. Mm -hmm. By the way, cayenne pepper is pretty kind of spicy, so. By the way, this is gonna be the most expensive one. This is 20 bucks, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. This is 20 bucks, so just be aware. And then we have um, I think I got como unas four heads of garlic, and they were pretty small, so I, I mean the the more garlic, the better. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I I like a lot of garlic. Están mucho ajo, so lo más dientes de ajos que tengan lo mejor. O a su gusto, pues. Yeah, yo agarré cinco cabezas o cuatro. Eran eran un paquetito de cuatro cabezas y las las eché todas. Y tenemos limón. Ya cuando estamos haciendo la salsa es vamos a echar limón. So and we also have this huge thing of butter. I mean, you could get unsalted butter. I got salted because I like mine salty. Yeah. <clears throat> so you could get unsalted. It's up to you. So, mucha mantequilla. Pueden agarrar mantequilla sin sal. A nosotros nos gusta con sal porque nos gusta salado. So, yeah, van a estar mucho de eso. Yeah, this is gonna be your, your sauce pretty much. Your butter, mm -hmm. that's gonna be the sauce. So, make sure you get a lot. And we also have some brown sugar. Yeah, so um, we'll show you guys what you'll need <coughs> that for um, as we go along. Yes, definitely. So, all right, so we're gonna start off by doing the Cajun, the Cajun spices. Okay? Make sure you get yourself one of these. These are uh, tablespoons, teaspoons, whatever. We got these right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use tablespoons. All right? So for the amount of shrimp that we're gonna make, which is four pounds, I would suggest that you put um, two, ta ta two tablespoons of each, all right? Okay. So here we go. Just be aware that it's, it's pretty salty, so it's up to you however, however much you wanna put, but I mean, this is how much we put. So there you go, all right, so we have Two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. I got this one at um, Smart and Final, First Street. You know my favorite. Yeah. Then lemon pepper. I got this one at Smart and Final as well. This thing was super expensive, by the way. Mhm. Mm Twenty bucks. I mean, I think that's too much, but it's bomb. It is the bomb. So I, I'm gonna be, you know, generous and put extra. <laughs> yeah. Put a little bit more, but it's two tablespoons, all right, guys. And of course, of, of whatever spice you want, like. You can put less or more. Yeah, know? it's up to you. I mean, if you think, hey, you know what? That's I don't like this. Don't even put it. But it's just not gonna taste the same, right? All right. So we're gonna put Old Bay. We're gonna put two tablespoons as well. Boom. <sighs> Smells good. All right. And now we're gonna put cayenne pepper. 
We only put one tablespoon to ours because it's spicy. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. Stuff. And the kids eat some too, so. Yeah. So that's that. And then we're gonna put. Blame it on the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna put one of paprika, right? Boom. All right. So there it is. Two tablespoons of lemon pepper. Two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Two tablespoons of uh, Old Bay. One tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. All right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you want it spicier, yeah. two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. All right, okay. cool. And then now we're gonna mix it, okay? Just mix it, mix it, mix it good. So there it is. See that? That's beautiful right there. That's all flavor. Now we got, we gotta chop up our garlic, so. Get yourself a good knife. I got this one at Smart and Final. <laughs> I get everything at Smart and Final. We're gonna chop it up. Just chop it up. You don't have to chop it fine, 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 but however you wanna do it, just know that you're gonna put Eat it. Eat it, yeah. and people don't like sometimes big chunks of yeah, so garlic. Just be aware that it's up to you however big you wanna do it. Look at how cool that looks. Alright, so it's not fine chopped, but there it is, you know? You, you don't have to chop it too much, because it's still going to get the flavor. Alright, there it is. You could actually buy the garlic already um, already peeled and everything, so that you don't have to so that you don't have to peel it, because peeling it is hard, dude. Yeah. I think it takes longer to peel them than to, to cook them. Alright, so that's that. Boom. Alright guys, so here, here we have our pan already. And it's already getting hot, so we're gonna add our butter and just be generous with the butter. Add a lot because this thing is for sure gonna be your sauce. So check it out. This no, six bars. Yeah, I would say six bars. Put a shit, put a shit though, dude. Because <laughs> honestly, that's the, the butter is gonna be your sauce. So if you have a little bit of butter. Like when you have too many shrimps, like us, it's not gonna yeah, work. Yeah, you have to like really add butter. I can't, I can't stress it enough. So just add a, a ton of butter, right? And like I said, it's up to you guys if you guys want to get it salted or unsalted. But as for us, we like it salty. So, and we're also gonna add the lemon. So, I mean, it's not gonna be that salty either, you know? But there it is, guys. I know this looks unhealthy AF, but. It's, it's not a healthy meal. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not a keto. This ain't keto, guys. <laughs> Is it keto? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that goodness, you guys. All right, so once the butter is melted, you add your garlic, all right, guys? So just, just add the whole thing. See yeah. So once you add that, dude, your house is going to smell bomb. Unless you hate garlic, then <laughs> you're gonna be yeah. miserable. <laughs> All right. So once you add your garlic, you make sure you let it um, let it boil a little bit. Not boil, but let it simmer and let it uh, cook. So that way it could get soft. Your garlic could get soft. You know, that way you're not chewing on, on some hard ass garlic. So don't let it boil too much though, because then your butter's gonna clarify. And once it clarifies, that means like it kind of breaks with the solids, the milk solids, and you pretty much have a lot of oil. You get okay, you guys, so it looks like it's ready. All right, so once it's ready, you leave, leave it simmering for about four minutes, five minutes, all right? Then you add your mix. Check it out. Damn. You don't have to add it all. You can add it all if you want, but I add it all because I want that flavor, flavor. I want that flavor, flavor. Bruh. And there, come on. <laughs> My stomach is growling, you guys. I just okay. want to eat it already. So that's pretty much your sauce right there. You get it? Look at that. Eek! That's all the goodness, you guys. All right, so once you add that, you want to add your brown sugar. So you add a tablespoon of brown sugar. And why don't we add the brown sugar? So it could stick? Yeah, so the sauce could stick. See that? Mm -hmm. So just be generous with it. Boom. You add it. 
You don't have to add too much, just a little bit, so that way it can get sticky. So this is gonna make the sauce kind of sticky, so that it can get stuck to your shrimp. Yeah, because we've seen a lot of people do it without it, and it just slides. It's like the shrimp, it just comes out wet. Yeah, it's like a caldo, pretty much, you know. But you wanna, you wanna let this kind of simmer until like, it gets a little thick. Gets, yeah, it has to get a little thick. So there it is. So just let you know. Slim thick. Well. So, <laughs> so your sauce is gonna just chill right there, right? Until it gets kind of thick. Not too thick, but just, you know, enough so that way it could coat the, the shrimps like super bomb. And then after that, we're gonna add our, our shrimp and then... Okay, All right, guys, so now that we have our sauce, look at that. I'm gonna show you how, how thick it is. It's not too thick, but check it out. It's like thick enough, you know? Mm -hmm. See that? It's not like super watery, if you get what I'm saying. So now we're gonna add lemon. You could add the lemon now, or you could add it after when you put the shrimp. But we're gonna add it right now, so that way it could get mixed with all that, okay? So we're gonna add about five lemons. Oh, they're limes, huh? These are limes? Lemons, lime, potato, potato. Yeah, so we're just gonna add them. These are small, so I, I, I got like six of them. That's so that it won't be too salty, but so it can have a bomb ass flavor. Trust me, you're gonna love it. You guys are gonna love this recipe, you guys. I tell Chava like, dude, it's I'll, better than boiling crab, literally. Like I was literally gonna, I was thinking of selling this instead of cakes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I was, I want to make like a lunch truck, you know, like a lunch truck with this. It's so good. But then who has time? Like, who has time to sit down and dirty the, their fingers all over, like in public, you know? Yeah. But then again, they think about it again. I'll, I'll give them, to, I'll give them peel already. But then you think about it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you ever start selling them, you know why. Yeah. He's been thinking about it too much. <laughs> Alright, there. That's enough. We're not making a lemonade here, guys. Oh, you're the one putting so much <laughs> lemon. Alright, cool. So that, there it is right there. My mouth is watering. Dude, it smells delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys gotta you guys gotta be right here. I mean it. <laughs> Alright, cool. So there it is. You guys can taste it if you guys like it. If not, add some more lemon. There it is. Check it out. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, so there. It's already done. We're going to add our shrimp. I'm just going to throw them in there. I already know that half of this is going to be four pounds, so. Because I got eight pounds. And I mean, this this pan right here, it literally just holds about four or five pounds. So I'm just gonna fill it up to the point where I know it's enough. Just be careful when grabbing them because they are sharp. They're tail sharp. You know? All right, so now that you add them in there, just turn them, you know? Keep on putting them under the sauce, so that way they could get you know, they could cook and they could like, the sauce could get in them, you know? So if you look at that one, damn, look at that. And they cook pretty fast, so that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, yeah, so just be careful not to overcook them though, because once you overcook them, they're hard to peel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Them and then we'll be back to we'll be show back. you guys. Yeah. Don't make a mess like Chava. Look at this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look at how good that is. All right, so look, check it out. It's already getting thicker. The sauce is getting thicker. Look at that. And See that's that? just how it is at boiling crab, you guys. Mm, and then look at all that garlic right there. That's, that's exactly how it is at boiling crab. So, I mean, trust me, this recipe, you're gonna love it. You know boiling curry, you love it. Yeah, now if you want to add like elotes or papas or sausages on the side, then that's on you. But we're just showing you how to make the main, main, main. Yeah, the main sauce. With the shrimp and it's so good. Yeah, oh yeah, man. Right now. And I'm pretty sure you could do it with like, you can throw in lobster in there and whatever yeah, you want, yeah. you know, so. Definitely. This is for a seafood boil when you're craving it. You know all the YouTubers have been doing mukbangs. Now you could do it from home too, girl. Oh yeah. 
guy, girl. Eat, whatever. A, eat along with the YouTubers <laughs> while they're doing their mukbangs. Seriously. This is bomb. You're gonna love it though. I, I can't even stress it enough. I can't say that enough, right? Les va a encantar. Les va a encantar, amigas. Y amigos. Yes. There you go. So there it is, guys. <clears throat> it's ready. It's ready for you to eat. So check out that salsa. Awesome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Wow, dude, trust me. Super bomb. Hurry, I'm hungry. Alright, so we're gonna take it out and we're gonna throw it in our charola. How do you say it? In English? In our, in our charola. Container. Nah, that's not a container, that's a contenedor, no? No. Charola. In our pan. I don't know. We're gonna throw it in something that holds it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so there it is, guys. Check it out. I was trying to burn himself, you guys. Look at that. Wee. See that? Okay, I'm dead. I'm dying. There it is. Check that out. So we're gonna serve ourselves from here, but there it is. That's that's pretty much the whole thing. Your seafood boil, you guys. Your whole shebang. Bomb. 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 And every drop counts, so check me out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This smells so good, I can't even describe. Like, my mouth is watering. Like, all right, you guys, so this is the finished product. There it is. We're done with it. and. I'm ready to eat, dude, honestly. So here's our shrimp. And then you pair it up with your white sticky rice. Oh, uh, yeah. And some lemons. Lemons and salt, salt and pepper. And there you go. You guys ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. I'm starving, dude. Yes, you guys. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you're going to try it. If you do try it, make sure you tag us and show us. You know, yeah. That way we could post it. Share this recipe and video with all of your friends and family. And we'll see you in our next video. Um, also, if you guys would like to see more cooking videos from us, please make sure you let us know. Hell yeah. So, Alright guys. Happy guys. New Year. Bye. 2020.